Hello everyone, it's Sue from Craft to Enjoy and welcome to my craft room today. Oh, let me just go down a little bit, you see my webcam there. How is everyone? I hope you're all okay. Um, this week I've released a video for and my first ever unboxing video. Oh, I think I got a little bit excited, but there's no one here to slap me, <laughs> tell me to get alive. But I just love it. I just, all the new things, all the new products, the new catalogue. I'm just waiting for people to come on. The new catalogue is here. Yay! I, I, oh, I love new things, new things. I've been stroking it. I'm sure I need therapy a little bit. But this is my crafting therapy, so hey. But yes, there's lots of new things. And, and behind me, there's a little basket here with things in. I've got a new things I've got to start playing with. So yes, I love it. Yes, it's a real passion of mine, so I'd love to share it with you. And um, if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to make in future videos, do just get in touch. If anything you think, how do you do that? I've seen this, but I don't know how to do it. You know, I've been crafting quite a long time now, so I may well be able to help you. So please get in touch, you know. And I am a UK-based independent stamp plant demonstrator, and I love it, the stamp plant products. Lots of different reasons, really. One is everything matches the colours. I used to sit there, I say this all the time, but I used to sit there making cards and I'd have different, I'd have one card from one company, one ink from another, try to colour it in, spend ages doing these wonderful things and then put it together and it would just look naff, to be honest. And I was, I was really disheartened by it. And it actually put me off crafting until I stumbled across stamping up. So um, that's why I like them so much because everything matches and everything's lovely. So yeah. Um, today I'm going to be making three cards and I'm going to start off with colours that I've not used before. So yes, it's exciting. So let's get down to my desk. Let's just turn that over to the other one. It should be, oh no, wrong one. There we go, a new down on my desk. So let's just see who's on just before we start and see who's here. And let's just see who's a chat. David is here, so hello David. <laughs> so we're going to get cracking. And today I'm going to be making a card. You'll notice that I've been using these two pieces of card, or this size of card, quite a lot. These are note cards, and I will um, I promise to do a video on what the sizes are and how I do them. But this fits lovely on a note card, so this is really quick and easy to do these type of cards. And I've got Highland Heather, which I haven't used for some time. So um, I'm also going to be using the Inspiring Iris stamp set. Um, I've taken one of the stamps, I've cut it in half, so because I wanted to use the, both the flowers, but I mean, you know, you, you could easily line it up, it's not a problem. So that's why, that's you thinking, oh, hang on, where's that on the stamp set? But that's where it is. So I really like this stamp set because it's more versatile than I actually think. So I initially thought, I keep looking at it going, oh, I've done, I've, there were some uninked stamps in here, which is a definite no-no in my book. And there's a little splodge there that I've never even kind of, little dot there, big dot. I like things like that, you know. So, yes, and there's a little border a stamp I haven't used. There's a couple of things in there that I just have not used. So, there we go. That was reason enough for me. So, I have Highland Heather out. I have Pool Party. And I have Pear Pizzazz. A green that I don't use very often. So, I'm trying to step out my comfort zone a little bit. Or, you know, just show you different things. And, you know, so I thought I would start by doing a sentiment. I'm sorry, this sentiment is from the Peaceful Moments set. And I'm going to be using... With deeper sympathy, I have another sympathy card to send. So um, I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to do it in the middle, oh, up the right way. Always double check you've got it up the right way. So that's that bit done. I could use a bit. So then I wanted to put, just put some flowers and things around it a little bit. So I don't really know where I was going to start, but. I want it to look quite, um, almost like a bit watercolory, but with stamps. So that's kind of my idea of where I'm going to start heading. So I'm going to start with the Highland Heather. And I'm going to put, say, one. Ooh, I want to stamp off. Let me get my bit of scrap paper that I've been using for ages. And I don't want it to be too strong. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of do a bit of, sort like that, like that. I don't want to see that with first generation stamping, second generation stamping. So I'm going to do exactly the same again, and I'm going to do one about kind of there. There we go. I like the look of that, and I want three on there. So I'm going to just go, oh, shall we, I might say that to later. I'm going to put a pool party on there, which is going to be about kind of like there. So it's looking quite, I'm going to do the same again. So they're looking quite kind of, well... 
faint, if that's the word. Just like really light and quite pale. So and that one's going to be in that kind of pink pattern as well. I just want a different sort of shape of flower. I'm going to put another purple one about there, but I want it to go really pale. So I'm just going to put that about there. So it's next to it. And then I want to put the green in there. I'm going to use purple Zaz, so it's got a bit of greenery. These were uninked stamps till today, so I'm just going to make sure because I haven't used this, this um, stamp before that I'm going to make sure it's got some ink on it. I'm going to turn that, you can see I'm going to turn that around a little bit. Hopefully, we get that the right way. I only want it quite sort of faint. I think I want about three, so I want it kind of coming out a little bit, so about there, I think. Yes, I like it. And that is our stamping gun. I'm just going to close those up real quick. Because I don't want to get into a mess. Oh, well, I'll put my finger in it or something. And I have hardly used some of these things. And I'm like, uh-oh. I'm just going to quite quickly clean them. The way I clean my stamps is I've got a chamois. And I use it all the time. It is so good for cleaning your stamps. It's so quick. It's easy. It's actually quite, you know... It's good for the planet as well because we, for years we were using baby wipes and various things, but also using baby wipes, you'd also get a load of um, like, like bits of baby wipe, like, like lint bits, whatever they call them, and it'd be really off putting. So you're always kind of doing it, but if you get bit, but you just will spoil your work, you know what I mean? It's really annoying. So I'm going to just put these together. This is a really simple card. Like I say, I've got another one to see, so. To put that on there like so but I like the way that the it kind of bring out the colors but I also like the way that you can first generation stamp second generation stamp, third generation stamp even which is what that one was so it makes the same color look like you've got using you've got so many more different color inks I don't think you can do that with every company's ink pads you know you may be able to but I you know I don't remember them being that good. A lot of the ink seemed to transfer quite quickly for me. So I'm just going to fold that in half and get my bone folder. Where's my bone folder gone? It's good. Find another one. I think I'm almost there. That one disappeared. I've got another company one there. There you go. So that's, that's the card done. What do we think? Do we like it? I like it a lot. Really simple, really easy, really different. You know, my Nan would like that colour, so I don't know, but that's my Nan's favourite colour. So it's something like that. I always called it Nan's colour, so I like it. Let's move on to the next one that we're going to make today. Over there, up the way, so I can just get my basket in and fill up the basket and move that out the way. So we can move on to the next one. The next one I wanted to show you was. Um, I've been looking at this stamp for a while and didn't really know what to do with it. So I've got, um, and I was like, oh, what should I do? What should I do? And I decided to make a card with it today. And it's called Breakthrough Bouquet. And it's from the catalogue. Which one was it from? The um, Occasions catalogue. They call it a mini catalogue. I was only till June. So I thought, oh, I really better start stamping with this. Because I've not used it yet. This ends, this catalogue ends in June. So it's not too long to go now. But um, I thought I really should get going with it because I've not used it. <gasps> so when I saw this stamp, I thought, oh, I could cut pieces of it out. You could cut flowers in their own right. You could put sentiments. You could do whatever you like, really, you know. And I wanted to have a go with it. And I've just stamped it out today. And I've cut something out ahead of time because it would be quite boring if I did that. But that's what I've done. But on, I wanted to do sort of like a base in that colour all over. You can imagine, and then I wanted to put that on top and sort of build it, colour it in a bit. And this would be good if it if you were um doing sort of like, like I think about heat embossing it, so I could heat emboss it and colour it in. And I thought I must, I will, I will do that in a video because it's on my desk still. So I will do that. And obviously, these are, this is quite a large stamp, so obviously I can't use the um. The magnets which is a bit of a problem because the stamp's too large the stamp is larger than my piece of card because that's larger than the, the, the so that's a a four and half and half and stamp is larger so i've got a bit of a problem really 
But um, obviously, if there is a bit that I've missed, and there is, look, you see, oh, there you go, a bit that I've missed, I'm going to try and just go over there, and hopefully it will line up, because I just was careful the way I picked it up. These stamps are notoriously difficult to, you know, you wouldn't better do that if I'd had it on the other block. That would just not work. So I'm really hoping, I still missed a bit. There you go. So that's, I'm glad this has happened for me, because if it happens for you at home, you know, this is what you can do. And we've got to hope that it's all going to line up. But it, like I say, it is a really big stamp. So I'm really hoping that we get it this time. Yeah, there we go. We've got it. So I'm just going to try and clean it. And again, if you've got a big stamp and you need to clean it, you can take your chamois and you can take your chamois to the stamp. There we go. That's, that's another reason. You see that's just coming off there. I've used Memento. That's just coming off there so cleanly, so easily. And it's clean. Cleaning is really important. We, we look after our stamps because, you know, they're a lot of money. We've got to look after things. And, you know, I just, that's why I was brought up. So, um, you've got to look after your things. So, and there we go. That's that. So in my stamparatus, I do actually use the, the foam pad that comes with it. So um, you know, I've got that, and I've got a bit of scrap paper in there, that bit card in there that uh, protects it from getting ink and that all over it. So I've now got my background. I wanted to colour it in. Yay, it's in colouring in. So I think this is where I'm going. So about that, about that, one of those, a sentiment possibly, and a bit of ribbon around it. A green ribbon I found. So... But I wanted to use some different colours from the same family. So these, I've got some Calypso Coral here. I've got some Blushing Bride. Let's grab my water brush. I use my water brush all the time, and I absolutely love it. So, there we go. Grab a bit of tissue. I tend to use toilet roll in my, clean toilet roll, in my craft room because it's smaller. So that's a top tip, Mrs. H's top tip there, folks. I use toilet paper because otherwise, a bit kitchen roll, you have to fold it and fold it and fold it. So I just use a bit of loo roll. So um, that might be some extravagant at the moment. But uh, so all I'm doing, let me show you what I'm doing, is if this is a new style stamp pad. So all I'm going to do is press it from my, from my fingers there, like that, like that. So I really want a bit of ink to transfer. Stamp out stamp pads are fabulous. There you go, bit of it, bit of green. That's kind of, kind of comes like a palette. Can you do that with other ink pads? I don't think so. There you go. So that's again, I want the blushing by. This is an older style ink pad that I've got. I've got some new ones coming and they are very well used. Again, I've got the green. This is the newer style one. There we go. I'm just going to open it. And there we go, ink. I'm just going to put a little bit of the green in actually. A little bit more of the paper as I'm just gonna give that little press, just gentle, you're not you're not gonna break it off its hinges, but you know it's uh, so all my colours are out. And on the newer style ink pads, I can tell which one's which because these look very similar. So how do I know which one's which? You can see that from the front. So I can see on my desk that one is old olive and this one is pear pizzazz. Because they look very similar because they're felt pads, so yeah. So I'm gonna start with the Calypso Coral. I'm just going to get my, I just want to colour it in. So I'm just going to go with, with whatever I think is the best way. Really quick, really easy. Oh dear, and I've used the wrong, do you know what I've done? I've used the wrong, ah, well there you go. I've made a mistake here. So I've used can you see, this happens to you, this is a, it's a Mrs H's top tip. I've actually, for watercolouring, I should have used stays on, and I used Memento. That's why it's gone like that. That's what I call a whoopsie, and I'm going to do a whole video of whoopsies. <laughs> so there you go. So I'm going to just quickly do that again. Get a bit of card, but I'm, that, that's what happens. So if you've started to do that, and that's happened to you, you can see the brown, but the black has just gone muddy looking. So there you go, and I'll, I'll show you the difference. Let, let's show you that I've, what I've done. I did, I did that. You know, I did, didn't do that on purpose today, but I'll just get a quick card, quick bit of um, card out. Hang on a sec. Oh. 
So I'm just going to cut a smaller piece. This is how I cut my smaller pieces. I know things, we are live, so and sometimes I'm popping and I've got so many things to think about. I'm just like going, oh. But if that happens to you, this is how to fix it. Which I think is almost, you know, I'm human too, folks. I am human too. So I'm just going to use the trim up and I'm going to cut down um, the card front. And I just want to do a quick. There we go. So that fits in there. And I'm going to re stamp that with some other ink. Get that out and do that again. So that's going to sit on there. I'll just cut another top. And I want to re and I'll show you at the end. The difference, what what it looks like, and you'll see. Well, make sure to use the right the right ink pad, because that they just rotted my right here. I just grabbed it quick, like you would at home, and it's the wrong one. So let's just show you what I what I'm doing. But yeah, memento and water don't go. Memento ink is for like more alcohol or just stamping that you're not going to colour in. So I've now got some stays on ink, which is what I should have used. And I'm going to show you the difference. So let's get my bit of card. Let's re-ink it. Obviously, I have cleaned it. You saw me clean it with my um my chamois. It's quite a big stamp to ink up, so um let's hold. Again, I can't use magnets on this because it's just too big. The stamp is just too big. So we're just going to have to hope that it goes, it looks well. I'm just going to press that down quite a lot because we've got a big old, boy, big, big old boy stamp here. And let's just hope that we comes out okay. In the middle. Not quite. Again, we can go over it because we're on a stamp for artists, even though I've not got no magnets there. If you're really careful, you can do what I'm doing here. You can go over it. But obviously, if it lifts it up and it, you know, if, if the paper the card underneath sticks to the stamp and you pull it down, you probably haven't got much choice. But if you pull it up really careful from a corner, hopefully, it will do it. Again, if you look at it first time, that's not bad. Still got a bit there for some reason. Why am I missing a bit there? It's hard to get these big stamps stamped up again the stamper artist this makes it so easy and how many how many goes have this taken me at home i've, I've dropped it a bit now but never mind oh dear, let's, try, let's try again we are going to do this card <laughs> it's really difficult i've chosen a really difficult stamp to do so let's try again i'm going to stand up for a little pressure on it i'm sitting down here let's try again what like a fuzzy image then there you go, there's enough ink on it. I've recently inked up my um stays on ink pad, so I know it's quite juicy, so it must be me the way I'm doing it. But again, this may happen to you at home. Oh, oh dear. Voila, we got there in the end. Yay! So again, the way to clean a stays on on the stays on stays on is just get our chamois. I use one side for chat for um stays on and one side for the other. For everything else, so that's the way I'm going to give that a bit of a clean. There you go. I'm going to pop that over there out of the way. And now I'm going to try and colour this in again. We don't like that mess that we made before. So this is done now with stays on. And then I'll try and colour it in again. Calypso coral. So we're going to see the difference now that it's made just using the right ink. <laughs> so there we go. And I'm really not going over the lines in that here. Obviously, I'm not using watercolour paper here. So what I think in my head is that they start quite pale, the flowers, in the centre. And as you go out a little bit, then I'm not they get a bit paler. I just don't want to go over the edge of the flower too much. Now I'm just going out a little bit. I can turn it. Okay. 
I also want to have a little bit that I've not got any much colour on, so I just want to... Again, I could take my... If I'm getting towards the edge of the flower, like here, I could take that, just do a little, couple of little dots on my, my, my paper towel here. And there we go. Oh, I love watercolour. Just so relaxing, so lovely. I love it. In my own little world, I can, I've got the window open, I can hear little birds in our garden twittering away and it's just lovely this is my therapy so there we go that's one one colored in and again this one water brush can do other things in the chamber or that the handle bit it's got some water you can see it's got some water in there and to get to go to a different color so i'm using calypso coral let's go around and i do my little circle like so i'm going to use a bit of blushing bride so i want to just color that in quite pale If you want it stronger, I could go to the um, reinker. You could put a little bit of reinker in there. I just want it quite pale, so I'm just going to do that, mix it up a little bit. Again, I'm not using watercolour paper, so I can't go over it lots and lots of times, but it will take this paper's quite good quality, so this card rather is quite good quality, so it will take a little bit of the uh, little bit of water it will take. So I'm just going to colour these in. It can be quite difficult to see that what's a flower and what what you know what's a leaf. So I'm just gonna there we go. There's another flower. Now I'm not really changing putting too much ink on there. There we go. I do like it. I'm gonna do another calypso coral one here, and it's coming out. So I'm just gonna do little circles going out. It's quite pale towards the edges. It's going to start to come together, so we get a bit more green in that in there. So I'm just going to go around a couple of little ones, and you'll see what I mean. Again, if I've missed a leaf, I can just come back and just colour it in a bit. I've got a quite busy sort of design really. So, and there's a rose petal here. I wrote a rose, a rose there. So I'm just going to get a bit more, make it a little bit more concentrated. So there we go. I'm just going to quickly do a bit of the green. Start doing some of the green, so I can. I'm not doing, you know. I'm going to do a few leaves. Again, the ink matches the card that I'm going to mount it onto, so that makes it really easy. I'm just going to do a little bit of the dark, a little bit dark every now and again. And I'm not, you know, I'm just going around thinking, is that a leaf? Is that a leaf? Yeah, I think that's a leaf. That's a leaf. I'm just going to mix the two a little bit. I can because I've got my palettes open. That's quite good. That's quite full. Cool. So, oh, I think we went really quiet then. <laughs> I'm just enjoying my water colouring. Oh. Gonna come around here a bit again. We can check if you want to go back in and add a teeny bit of color. You can really keep them quite sort of. I think these ones are going to be a little bit darker in my world. Again, you, you can you can spend a lot more time on it. You can do them real. I'm doing them quite quickly here, but you know, if you wanted to, them to be darker or lighter, you could go and add sh light and shade. You could again make them different colors in nature. Nothing's you know, a bit more green in there. I think that's a leaf. That's a leaf. Almost round. I know I've got a flower to do this flower here, so I'm just gonna. But that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna get a bit of a. 
I'm using blush and bride. So again, I'm going across the lines here. I'm just going to real quick go across the lines. I'm just putting a couple of, so when I went back to put a bit more ink in, I just decided to make a couple of the leaves. If you're going back in, don't go like I did like that, it's okay for some bits, but if you want it to be a little bit darker, you can just make it like so. I think you are getting that. And there we go, almost done, I think. I just want to put a little bit of the, looks so coral around here. And what a different card that is. I think we're almost done. Oh, we've got a couple of little ones there. We'll just get a little bit of dark there. Again, I've gone for sort of three, three elements, three sort of flowers that are the darker one, darker ones. Again, I can go for more unmixed ink if that makes sense. So in my pat, in my, I've got that's one of the maximum, but that's quite a concentrated ink. So you get again, you're getting different shades. That's why these ink pads are so good. I think you get I like them <laughs> by now. But again, again, I'm going back here. I've just seen a leaf somewhere. I saw a leaf somewhere that wasn't coloured in. There we go, here. I've just gone with the lighter green. There we go. I think that is about it for my colouring. A little bit there, a little bit there. Again, we could go on forever, but we won't. And that's how to colour it in. Really simple, really easy. And I've also, um, now let me show you the difference. This was the one I did with stays on, and this one is the one I did with Memento. So which one do we prefer? My mistake. My whoopsie. <laughs> Never mind. I just got I've forgotten to do the um the one that I did earlier. I've cut it out so we can again I've just done exactly the same image twice, and then I've just cut out one section of it. And I'm just gonna real quick colour it in. And I'm just gonna go out in circles like this. I want a specific side of my flower to look a bit more um, darker than the other one. So I'm just going to make sure that blends. There we go. And that is my flower done. How long did that take? Not that long really, did it? Put the top on that. I've got my ink pads in the other way. And let that dry for a second while I'm just doing that. So I want to put some ribbon across. I think about sentiment more quickly. Which is something I've thought about. Oh, there you go. I haven't got any cards. So I'm going to use the other side of my card there. That's a bit that I can use. You can't see anything through it. I'm going to grab a sentiment from the set. Which one is behind? There you go. So uh, I'm going to make it probably... Oh, what one do we have? Oh, I've been sending those thank you cards. So I shall get a thank you. And I shall grab a coordinating punch. Doesn't matter now what I, what um, ink I'm going to use because I'm going to probably leave it a bit plain or or not. Let's grab a uh, thank you. Oh, should we do something a bit different with it? No, I'm going to do that. So I'm making it up as I go along. This is how I craft. This is probably how you craft at home. Again, I've used the side of that. Don't need that bit. So that's not a problem for me. I'm going to just try and position that about there. And I'm, my idea is to put the ribbon under. And then possibly position a thank you. Something like that. But I want to get um, I mean, it's a little bit too, too oh, when I put it on there, it looks a little bit standouty. So I'm just going to grab a sponge and another sponge. I'm going to use again. Same, this is the same ink that I've been using to colour in, to stamp with, and do everything else. So, all I'm going to do is get I've got a sponge here, go around the edges of it, and that looks really cute. So, you see how I've taken that with a sponge to a whole different place, really. And then again, I could go around that one. I could, you know, that, that for me is enough. I always have lots of sponges ready, so um, I like it. Let's put this card together. We've got some ribbon around there. This is more of a background than anything else for me. I'm going to grab my... Is this my... Is this my... 
all gone. Um, you, can, you can use lots of different ways you can adhere or stick some ribbon. You can use, I'm going to use some sellotape here because that's what's a hand. Now, what way is my flower going to go? My flower's going to go that way, I think. So, we need to, need to choose what way the flower's going to go and to put that there. I'm going to use some sellotape. I could use some, some um, glue dots. There is different ways that you can put your ribbon on. I'm just going to get that there. Put a bit more side tape on the back. I'm going to make sure I cut that bit off. Oops. Cut that bit off. So make sure that's straight. I think that's about straight. There we go. And then I'm going to stick that to there. There next, put the card together. But doesn't that look different? I like it. And no one would know that on the back side of that is the horrible blurry one. Let's put that together. So that is together, and that's going to sit on the card like so. I'm going to send this through the post, so um, I'm going to keep it relatively flat, I think. Well, I've never got that much in it. And that I'm going to have like that, and I'm going to put thank you about there. Me thinks, yes, I like it. What do you think? With my rose, I'm going to do some that I often do, and that's why I put a mention on it. So, I'm going to just put a couple of dimensionals to hold it. So I'm for there and there. I'm just going to put two bits on there. I'm going to get my bone folder. I'm just going to do it like that a little bit. So it gives it a little bit of. So, and I'm just going to position it so it, it's on there like so. And I want that bit to be straight down, so that is my, my thank you, quite flat, so. I'm just going to glue that down. But my, my rose, I just want to have a little bit of dimension, so I'm just going to make it all want that to be uh, like that, I think. There we go. So that's that bit done. So what do we think about that? That's a very different card for me. Um, this is going to my cousin. I know he doesn't watch, but he's into horticulture. So I actually saw a little, you know, and I know he likes flowers and things. So I thought that was a really good card for him. So I'm just going to clear up for a second. Let me grab the basket in and let me put all my bits away. The next card is inspired by a box of tissues. Let me show you the picture on my phone. My messages there. Uh, let me show you the picture. Hopefully, it'll be on there. So I saw, oh, where was it? A picture of a box of tissues, and this is where the inspiration came from. Oh, I've got to find it now. What was in my pictures? I've got lots of. Oh, I don't have on your phone, Sue. I do. Uh, I've got to find it. Oh, I saw. Anyway, it was a um, box of tissues. It was just there a second ago. It's gone. It was a box of tissues anyway. Sorry, I'm whizzing through my pictures and you can't do it. That's really boring to see that. So I thought, oh, I, li I liked the colours. And then I thought, hmm, that'd be really good for a card. So that's where the inspiration came from. And then I thought, oh, I've got loads of scraps. So if you have scraps like this, this would be a really good way, hopefully, to use it up. And I've got a sneak peek of a product that's coming up in the new catalogue that I absolutely really like the look of. So I had to use that. So, you know, that's where we're going. So I, mean, I really have a load of scraps here that you may put in the bin. So and I'm so thrifty. You know what I'm like. You know, I have, have to use it. So on the, I can't remember how it went now, but um, it had lots of different sort of strips of card. And they're all rounded with a corner rounder. I thought, aha, corner rounder. So I had that. This is a trio punch that I've used such a lot. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. I've got some colours that I've just matched to the tissue box. I have to try and, well, I will find it, I'll put it over on my blog eventually. 
and don't see red have a look at it so i've got the colors that i had they were like gray a blue a black and a dark blue and a bit of white so i thought oh so there are my color that's my color palette and i thought all oh, this is different and then I, in my box i found loads of different bits of card and i've got obviously always got scraps of card around and i thought well can i card like, can i make something from it so i thought yeah you can so i wanted to do happy birthday and i wanted to do something like like that so i'm going to start by doing the happy birthday and making that as much and then i'm going to work on my background bit so i wanted to put the this is a new punch that is going to almost you know this is just a muzzin so basically it has i can't remember the sizes now um is it a centimeter no i'm in inches here but, so i think it's in inches Hard to see, I'll put the measurements there. So it does half inch, three quarters of an inch, and an inch. Yeah, it does on both sides. So I thought, oh my goodness, this would just do so many things. You're going to be seeing this used a lot by demonstrators. I know it's going to be all over the internet. So you've got a choice here. So for me, that one looked a bit more manly because I'm going to mentor her, but you know, there's no right or wrong way here. My card doesn't fit any the slots, so all of the trick ticket. The trick is here push it as far as it will go and then just make sure it's kind of in the center so i've got an even side even a gap either side i'm just going to hold it like so and go down on it and then it gets a pretty end look at that that's so cool i like it so that's why i wanted to do that one i then wanted to, to put a sentiment again i'm using my scraps here which is what i love using is there a, oh, it might be a little bit too scrappy might fit. let's give it a go <laughs> can i get it on there we'll give it we'll try i'm going to use memento ink now because i can i use this for sentiments that i'm not going to color in i'll do everything anything with i'm hoping this is done to gone straight there we go and it is pretty good look at that so i like happy birthday so then i thought we could put that on there can we give that an end again it doesn't quite fit in my punch so i hope this is going to come out okay because i've not actually tried this before but if it doesn't i've got loads of scraps going in quite a long way so again i'm just going to double check it's, it's wider it's narrower than the slot for this sort of size there we go woohoo look at that oh i like it that's going to fit on there. I don't really know how we're going to do it, so we'll have to just see how we go. So I'm going to start with my card base. I've done my sentiment, and I want that about there. Methinks that fits in there. Lovely, doesn't it? So I think I'm going to stick those two together. I'm going to get some small dimensionals and put that up on some dimensionals. Raise that bit up. I think that's where we're going to start. So we'll start to build our card a little bit. I'm going to put that, make sure that's at the end of the happy birthday. I'm going to put a few on there because I've got to send this one in the post. So there we go, that's that. I'm going to put that down so I know where to put the other pieces and I'm going to build around it. That's going to be my plan. Put that in the centre. Put that about there. I'm going to put that on my card so it's on the edge. That's wherever I want it to be. So I'm going to take it away. Uh, again, I could have gone anywhere on my card, but I'm going to choose in there. And put that about there. So let's get some, grab some glue and put that together. Really, you could, you know, you could use this type of punch for so many things. And I like things that are really versatile. Well, I can see this thing for so many sentiments. You can do different sizes, different widths. You could matte and layer it. You could do so many. You could do two or three different layers on something. Um, and it gave me two different shapes as well. Oh, I like it a lot. You can tell I like it a lot. So, and then I just wanted to really use a load of scraps. So what I'm going to do is get my all arounder, and I'm going to. You have to put it right because I've got a little scrap. You just have to make sure that you put it right in there and work right against the a little piece of butter up against, so you keep it nice and straight. I turn it over and do the same again. Hopefully that went. Did that go? Oh, that didn't go properly. Let me try again. Oh, oh that's not going right. Hang on, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? That should go that way. 
and I need to be careful the way I butt it. I didn't butt it up right on that one. Fingers crossed. Yeah, there you go. So that's my little bit. I'm going to cut that bit off so I'm not going to need that bit. I didn't butt it up right in there properly. So I'm going to put that blue at the top. I then want a bit of a dark blue. Let's cut a strip. Get my trimmer. I guess we're getting very full all of a sudden. I'm just going to cut a strip. And I'm going to do about, I don't know, how big do I want it to be? Um, about half inch. Let's do a let's do a half inch one. See how that looks. Again, if you've not got a corner around, you could just I'm just using this some scraps really. This is literally scraps that are in my bathroom. I have lots and lots of scraps. I thought let's use them up. Again, let's try again with my corner rounder. And let's not try to do it in get that up a bit better. And if that just doesn't quite get the edge of it, just go around it with your scissors. Okay, there we go. And I've got to butt this bit up against right in there, which is what I didn't do before. There you go. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? There we go. So, oh, didn't do that right either. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> oh dear, I've got something in there. Nope, let's try again. Get it there. Or we could use the other punch. I'm not getting this lined up right, am I? It's because I'm doing it at an angle. There we go. Oh, that's got better. Should we try that one? Should we try that one? Oh. There we go. Oh, it's gone right all the way in now. Let's see what that does, if that's any better. Whoops. It's getting a real mess here. <laughs> what am I doing wrong with this? I'm I'm obviously not putting it in at the right angle, that's why it's not coming out right, because that's right. I'm obviously putting it in at the wrong angle. I wonder if you could see it from better from the other side. Try that again. Running out of card here. We're not running out of card. We've got only, we, we've got, there you go, we're playing with scraps really, aren't we? That's just too small now, so let's cut another bit. Oh dear, plenty of whoopsies today, isn't there? Plenty of whoopsies. It may be that our card's too small, so let's make it a bit bigger. Again, I've not, you can see, I've not tried this one. This is how I craft. So it's very much how things go. Let's try, I'm determined to get this done now. Right. I think it may have been a little bit too small. Yay, you've got there. <laughs> so I did get there in the end. I'm just going to cut that teeny bit off there. There we go. So that's that bit done. That's that bit done. I'm going to stick that down in a minute, I think. I think I like it. I've got a smidgen of black. So I think we will try and do the black in there. I don't know if that's wide enough to go in there. That's not going to make much of a difference, really, is it? You can actually see from the other side how big it's going to be, so you can see if that's going to make a difference or not. I don't think it is, so because it's too small a strip. Um, what should we do? Another one. We're not playing here, really. That's got a little bit of a shape to it. I don't dislike it. Oh, there you go. There we go. And then let's try. Shall we try another one? Sort of. I need a, I need a different shape. Uh, there we go. That one. That one. That one. And a dark. Another bit of dark down here, don't we? I think so. I'm going to try that one. That fits straight in there, like that scrap. So that will come out the same shape of. There we go, that one. And a little bit there, I think. We are so live here, aren't we? We are so live. <laughs> there we go. When you're using your trimmer, the stamping up, this is on the new trimmer, so that must be at the bottom towards me so there we go we learn as we go along you know if this is if this is you you know who knows there we go, a little bit there and I'm gonna put that in there there we 
couch. That looks pretty cool. Don't like that one now. Should we change it all to the other one? Let's try and change it. There you go. Let's try and change it. And obviously we can try and get that out. Let's test a pair of tweezers to get it out. There we go. Oh, that doesn't work in there. I think it got a bit went right to the edge of the guide. Oh, it's stuck in there now. There we go. Oh, that's not going to work, that one. It's too narrow for my, my thing. We're, we're learning, aren't we? We are so learning. It needs to be longer, you see. That one should be okay. There we go. Again, I'm just playing here, really. Just playing. With another light blue one. Let's just cut that in half. Let's try the other light blue one. The pool party one. There we go. It needs to be longer so we can pop it in. There we go. So that, that's better, isn't it? There you go. Well, that's how we learn. <laughs> so let's put the card together now. This is from made from my scraps from my craft room. So I'm just going to arrange them however I think. There we go. Put that about there, I think. Too much of blue there. Well, I'm going to cut off the edges when I'm finished. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that about there. Just to make it different. I might actually put a bit of black down there. Oh, well, I quite like it the way it is. We quite like the kit. Out there, that's all my pieces are down bar one. That is just a bit different, isn't it? I've never made a card like this before. You can tell, can't you? I've never made a card like this before, but there we go. So, that is live from the craft from on a Saturday morning. And I take it the other side now and I chop my edges off. I'm just stuck down. I'll make my scissors are butted up right against the card to get a nice, clean side to it. What do we think, folks? There we go. My own folder. And there we go. There's my three cards today. Let's just clear my desk a little bit. All these bits. And there's my three cards today. Let's move that out of the way. What do we think? Do you like them? They look pretty cool, don't they? What's your favourite? Do you have a favourite? I like I like them all actually. This one's different. This is some, one I wouldn't normally type to do. So I will find the picture and I'll pop it over on my blog when I get to do my blog post for this, um, this live this morning. Thank you ever so much for watching today. Thank you so much. I have now, I've, last week, week crafting drove and I, I reached a bit of a milestone. So we've now received, I now have hundred, over a hundred subscribers. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching watching what I'm creating from my craft room. So thank you ever so much. I really appreciate you. Um, your, your time and tuning in so i hope you enjoy the videos that i'm making if there's anything in the future you'd like me to make obviously like i've said before just drop me a message or something so don't get just get in touch if there's technique you've seen you don't know how to do just get in touch so i might like to help you um thank you for watching and please keep safe and well out there and um yes yeah, so i've got lots more videos and that coming out so um i hope you've enjoyed mrs h's it's me mrs h's tints and tips so don't forget if you're if you're going to be coloring in with watercolor don't use memento like I've just done. Oh dear, it's because it ends up in a, in a blurry mess. So there we go. So thank you very much for watching today. And I wish you a really good weekend, bank holiday weekend, and keep safe and well, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.